Blessings, 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 Smurf and TikTok family. I am Mama Pam, a.k.a. Pamela Dobson, and I do read, beloved, seven minutes every day so you do not have to read. Today's read is for Saturday, July the 9th, 2022. We'll be reading Genesis, the 30th chapter, <clears throat> and the standout scripture is Genesis 30 and 22, and God remembered ratio. And God hearkened to her and opened her womb. God allows wombs to be closed up. And guess what? God opens wombs. <laughs> Reading from the King James Version of the Word of God, Genesis 30th chapter. And it reads, And Rachel saw that she bare Job no children. And Rachel envied her sister and said unto Jacob, Give me children, or else I die. And Jacob anger was kindled against Rachel and he said am I in God's stead who hath withheld from thee the fruit of the womb and she said well behold my, my maid Bella go in unto her and she shall bear upon my knees that I may also have children by her and she gave him Bella her handmaid to wife and Jacob went in unto her and Bella conceived and bore Jacob a son and Rachel said, God hath judged me, and hath also heard my voice, and hath given me a son. Therefore called she his name Dan. And Bella, Rachel's maid, conceived again, and bare Jacob a second son. And Rachel said, With great wrestlings have I wrestled with my sister, and I prevailed. And she called his name Nephtali. And when Leah saw that she had left bearing, she took Zelphar, her maid, and gave her Jacob to wife. These sisters were competing with each other. And Zelphah Leah's maid bare Jacob a son. And Leah said, A troop cometh. And she called his name Gad. And Zelphah Leah's maid bare Jacob a second son. And Leah said, Happy am I, for the daughters will call me blessed. And she called his name Asher. And Reuben went in the days of wheat harvest and found mandrakes in the field and brought them unto his mother Leah. And then Rachel said to Leah, Give me, I pray thee, of thy son's mandrakes. And she said unto her, Is it a small matter that thou hast taken my husband? And wouldst thou take away my son's mandrakes also? <clears throat> Excuse me. And Rachel said, Therefore he shall lie with thee tonight for thy son's mandrakes. And Jacob came out of the field in the evening, Old man tired, and Leah went out to meet him and said, Thou must come in unto me, for surely I have hired thee with my son's mandrakes. And she, and he lay with her that night. And God hearkened unto Leah, and she conceived, and bare Jacob the fifth son. And Leah said, God hath given me my hire, because I have given my maiden to my husband. And she called his name Issachar. And Leah conceived again <laughs> and bare Jacob the sixth son. And Leah said, God hath endowed me with a good dowry. Now my husband will now will my husband dwell with me because I have borne him six sons. And she called his name Zebulon. And afterwards she bore a daughter and called her name Dinah. And God remembered Rachel, and God hearkened to her, and opened her womb. And she conceived and bare a son, and said, God hath taken away my reproach. And she called his name Joseph, and said, The Lord shall add to me another son. And it came to pass, when Rachel had born Joseph, that Jacob said unto Laban, Send me away that I may go unto mine own place and to mine own country. Give me my wives and my children for whom I have served thee, and let me go, for thou knowest my service which I have done thee. And Laban said unto him, I pray thee, if I found favor in thy eyes, tarry, for I have learned by experience that the Lord has blessed me for thy sake. And he said, Appoint me thy wages, and I will serve it, and I will give it. And he said unto him, Thou knowest how I have served thee, and how thy cattle was with me, 
For it was a little which thou hast before I came, and it is now increased into a multitude. And the Lord hath blessed thee since my coming. And now, when shall I provide for my own house also? And he said, well, what shall I give thee? And Jacob said, now thou shalt not give me anything. If thou wilt do this thing for me, I will again feed and keep thy flock. I will pass through all thy flock today, removing from thence all the speckled and spotted cattle, all the brown cattle among the sheep, and the spotted and speckled among the goats, and of such shall be my hire. So shall my righteousness answer for me in time to come, when it shall come from my hire before thy face, Every one that is not speckled and spotted among the goats and the brown among the sheep, that shall be counted stolen from me, because they'll belong to him. And Laban said, Okay, behold, I would it might be according to thy word. And he removed that day the he goats that were ringed, streaked, and spotted, and all the she goats that were spotted and speckled, and every one that had some white in it, and all the brown among the sheep, and gave them unto the hand of his sons. And so he set three days' journey between himself and Jacob. And Jacob fed the rest of Laban's sheep. So they made this distance so we know whose uh, cattle belong to whom. Now Jacob took him rods of green poplar and of the hazel and chestnut tree and piled white streaks in them and made the white appear which was in the rods. And he set the rods which he had piled before the flocks in the gutters, in the watering troughs. And when the flocks came to drink, that they should conceive when they came to drink. And the flocks conceived before the rods, and brought forth cattle, ring streaked, pit speckled, and spotted. And Jacob did separate the lambs, and set the faces of the flocks toward the ring stake, and all the brown in the flock of Laban, and he put his own flocks by themselves and put them in unto and put them not unto Laban's cattle. So it came to pass, whensoever the stronger cattle did conceive, that Jacob laid the rod before the eyes of the cattle in the gutters, that they might conceive among the rods. But when the cattle were feeble, he put them not in. So the feebler were Laban's, and the stronger were Jacob's. And the man increased exceeding exceedingly and had much cattle and maid servants and men servants and camels and asses may the lord add a blessing to you the hearer me the reader of this precious and sacred word of god i want to say thank you thank you thank you for being a part of the smurf ministry um, I think I'm going to have to make another flyer because I believe I have been getting marks on TikTok because it says you cannot do any personal information. And on my flyers, I have the phone number and my cash app. So I won't be doing that anymore. I'll have to make me another flyer. But anyway, we are Smurf International Ministry, 7-Minute Read Family, 7-Minute Read Followers, just 7-Minute Read Faithful Folk. We do pro broadcast live across various social media platforms. Every day, Monday through Friday, hmm. Monday through Friday, Pacific Standard Time. Let's see if I can show you this. Put my hand on it. Uh, cover up everything so y'all can't see it. <laughs> okay, so that's who we are. That's who we are. Praise God. That's who we are. Uh, we do broadcast Monday through Friday, Pacific Standard Time, 7 p.m. Um, and if you want to give any donation, you can send the donation to dollar sign, Mama Pam 23. And um, I'm asking Mackenzie, Mackenzie Scott Jewett, I'm asking her for um, $7 million to build a, a transitional home for children that look like me, underprivileged children here in Texas, preferably under the ages of 18 that have been human trafficked and or little girls that have gotten themselves pregnant, don't know what to do. They need someone to nurture them, love them, structure them, raise them up to be successful women in society. And that's what Mama Pam is here to do. So let's quit looking at the clock. Let's quit ticking and talking. Let's be about our father's business. Go out and tell everybody that Jesus saves and that we have somebody that's reading the word every day. That'd be me, Mama Pam. God bless. Tick and talk. Goodbye.